So logically, if you ask someone in the street, like, is failure good? Is it good to get rejected by girls and stuff like that? You will, like, a normal person would think, like, that's bad. Like, that's not good. That doesn't feel good, right? But the thing is, to actually make any sort of progress in life, you need to fail a lot of times. A lot of times. And the thing is, there is literally different quotes uh, that I saw in the book, um, The Slight Edge, where people say, like, if you want to achieve success faster, you need to double the rate of your failure, literally to fail two times more, or even more than that. And uh, why I'm saying this right now is that, uh, so I thought that it was a bad thing that I got, like, rejected almost 30 times, if not even more, because a few more happened in the past few weeks. So, uh, I, everyone would think that it's pretty bad that I got rejected like 30 times by girls in the past a bit like over a year uh, but if if I look at it objectively and uh, look at my age group guys who are now getting like rejected or played around with girls um, I see that it wasn't uh, such a bad thing like obviously it would, it would be better if I got a girlfriend but uh, why it's uh, not fully bad like people think it is, that I got rejected so many times, is that now, when I'm getting rejected more and more, uh, there is not nearly uh, the same thing happening as before. So before, I would literally be simping for a girl, I would be doing stupid shit, but right now, I can literally, from a mile away, see if a girl is not interested, so I don't even try, or uh, if she's interested, but uh, she's trying to play around or something like that. I can see it from a mile away. Sometimes... Uh, understanding the thing uh, before it even happened and my some of my male friends are like almost amazed how I was able to literally predict uh, predict what will happen so this is literally what sometimes happens because um, as I got rejected more and more times I was seeing the pattern of what usually happens and I will definitely record more videos where I actually give you the things that I learned so you don't have to get rejected 30 times to learn them but generally uh, when chatting with girls or when meeting them in real life, you can see some signals when you are seeing that they are either playing around, wanting to make a fool out of you, uh, or wanting to manip manipulate you, or just not liking you, or whatever. So, yeah, it's really interesting what I learned through a lot of, through failing a lot of times. Same in business, like, every time you fail, you, you actually uh, learn a lesson from it. So, it's not just like, so, so some people even say, like, you either win or learn. Some people don't even want to say uh, the word fail, because when you fail, if you are like thinking uh, in a good way, you will learn, learn something from it, obviously. So uh, that's what I wanted to tell you guys in this video. So actually, if you want to learn more about dating and how girls think and how their brain, fun uh, brain, uh, brain functions, I think you should just get rejected more. Just try more, like maybe you won't get rejected, but the chances are you will. And you will learn something from it every single time. And you won't be the guy who is like an insult and doesn't have a clue how to uh, talk with girls or how to see if a girl is trying to manipulate them. So you can either like read the book, the Red Pill Handbook, that I'm currently reading, but it's like 400 pages. <laughs> so it might be as well easier to just get rejected like 10 times. So yeah, and you are, you are going to learn pretty similar things, I guess. But doing both of them would be a good idea. So yeah, I'm currently in Notion trying to think about the next videos that I will record, but yeah guys, that was pretty much it for this video, so getting rejected is something that you should probably do, but maybe not in a way that I did it, because I fucked up my social status in my city, but if you are in a bigger city, you don't need to worry about that, just get rejected more and more. Um, men, grow to, through discomfort and you will learn so fucking much. You will, be, you will never be able to be manipulated by a girl because if you don't want to get rejected and you are just working on yourself, you become a millionaire, literally like escorts will, <laughs> will like uh, take advantage of you because you don't have a clue uh, about how women function and how they can play a game with you. So it's actually better to just go and learn through action and also reading, watching podcasts and stuff. But you are gonna read, uh, you are gonna learn more if you actually go and try compared to just watching uh, watching uh, fresh and fit podcasts. So yeah, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. See you tomorrow.